Hello Trade Pros, this is Victoria from Trade Pro Academy yet again with another video for you guys today. We will be talking to you guys about back testing your strategies on TradingView, how it could be done. So guys, let's get right into this. This was a pretty popular tool on ninja trader that we that we did a while ago we did a youtube video on that a while ago but right now i will show you how to do that on trading view it's very important to back test your strategies before you go in live and start killing the markets so we can do this on virtually anything right in front of you guys i have the apple stock in a tab we also have the s p futures along with some currencies so let's use the euro usd the tool that we will be using today is this replay button up here again guys this is the pro version on trading view so i'm not sure if the free version has this but if you do click the replay bar and this red line comes about if you go back to wherever you want let's say right around here it cuts off everything to the right or the most recent time price action of that chart and just leaves you with everything to the left of it what's already happened by doing this you guys you can also press play and see how the stock does play out or whatever asset you're looking at plays out the beauty of this is that when you go back and back test your strategy you can see how probable and how much it does work or if it doesn't work maybe you have to rejig something Right here, we're using Apple as an example. I know what happens in Apple, so this may be cheating a little, but that's the glory of it. You do backtest your strategy, and you have to be honest with yourself. So right here, let's do some analysis, see what we can do on Apple. Right now, it's kind of in a range here, a little uptrend, maybe a little retrace back into this level could happen into some support. You see volume to this up move is increasing. RSI has not hit its overbought level yet. You can see that MACD is kind of turning bullish. You see some support down here, like we said, but we'd have to replay all of these windows right here, these two windows too. So let's just focus on this window right here and kind of block these ones out. So right here, we could draw a little trend line like this, potentially maybe enter a buy right here. We can see that the trend is moving in the up fashion, but right here, there is some resistance. We do have to clear that to get up. Our two trade ideas would be getting long down in this area or if we do break this area climb up come back retest a little and get long up into these 176s or 168s either could happen so let's go ahead and play this out for you guys it's dropping you see volumes kind of weak to this upside oh gaps lower right here comes into our buy zone continues support is held and we do move back up this entry would have been perfect for a little climb higher. We do have to wait and see. Oh, there you go. Breaks continues higher. That was a quick little example. Like I said before, you do kind of know what happens, but this is amazing for backtesting your strategy and seeing what works and what doesn't. So when we get rid of this, we can see that we did a pretty good job in our technical analysis in the direction of the trend. Also, you could go back however long you want and do the same again like I said it could be used on any other asset class so going into currencies right here we have the same red line and if we plop it down somewhere here and like I said we do know where price is going but we could do our analysis and see if we are onto something here nice support down here resistance up here Currencies are a little different, so they do like to head fake and move in a volatile manner. So a peak above this would be buyable. Something that looks something like this, peaks above this level right here, could be buyable back into a little dip and continue higher. Or we could wait and see how this level plays out. So let's go ahead and play that for you guys. See what happens here. We're just moving around, coming into this level of support. Let's look, wait a little longer. You see gold, silver, this little combination down here. Moving to the downside, it has a one-to-one -one correlation. So right here, we did see that break. It's come into our buy level, a little dip right here. Maybe could be buyable around these 
1.19103s in that area. Let's see what happens, guys. Bounce off that level, continues higher. There you go. So again, guys, could be a little cheating, but if we do go back and test our strategies in that manner on stocks, currencies, whatever it may be, you may find this little replay button and this back testing on trading view very very useful go ahead and check it out and speaking of currencies guys let me promote our forex course one more time we do have a forex course coming out in august i hope you guys are excited we will have not one but two strategies built into it and we will work them with you guys and hopefully this is what you guys wanted to see we're going to be forex traders as well now that we have conquered futures and options at trade pro academy so again, this was Victorio from Trade Pro Academy with a short little backtest video on TradingView for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next video.